is a 35-year-old construction worker who recently left his job to pursue his dream of being a stunt cyclist. We catch up with Rodney in Footscray, a suburb of Melbourne. I mean, it just figured, you know, life's too short to not follow your dreams and I mean, construction's good and all, but... In preparation of yet another full day of training, Rodney is stretching and going through his warm-up routine. Perhaps cleverly realising his limitations at the moment, Rodney, rather than risking life and limb, tests out a few manoeuvres on foot. I mean, when I'm on the bike, I feel like, like Superman. Like nothing can touch me, you know? And so I spend my days now just biking around and looking for challenges. I, I, you know, I challenge myself every day. Every day, a little bit more. So Rodney, if you want to, you know, to be the best. You gotta train like the best. While his tricks remain pedestrian at the moment, Rodney is confident that soon he'll strike it rich as a stunt cyclist. Um because in a few years it's likely I'm gonna be a millionaire. Yeah I've got two kids, I've got a girlfriend, she takes care of them now so I can Follow a passion. And, uh, you know, as we, you know, as I say, Rodney, what are you doing? Uh, two years for the uh, Summer Olympics. <clears throat> so, two years. After repeated requests, we film Rodney coming down a hill, practicing a new move. And I mean, if you think about it, it's, it's not unheard of. For a regular bloke like me, Rodney, to be doing what I'm doing. I mean, Eddie the Eagle did it. You know, I saw the movie. Got inspired, yeah. Um, just thought, fuck it, sorry. Just thought, you know, go for it. After spending the day with Rodney and now leaving him to his own devices, we can only hope that he will see the light and take care of himself and his family. They call me a hero if you want. I, I certainly would. Sue me. Oh, this new crazy mother.